the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. Amen. God bless y'all. Hey, this is a this is a Sunday, and it's a, it's a it's another day to to praise His holy name. The Bible said, "When two or three are gathered in His name, He'll be in the midst of them." So therefore, we praise His holy name for what the Lord is doing today. Amen. I mean that's that's what it's all about: praising His name, glorifying His holy name worshiping you know the bible says you know and i, I got one of the slides and i think it's, it's on uh psalms uh uh 118 24 but the bottom line it says this is the day that the lord has made i will rejoice and be glad in it hallelujah the hallelujah part is the added part amen we've been back to saying is that we we praise his name we worship his name we glorify his name you know, and I tell you, it's, I pray for more laborers. Uh, I pray for more equipping of the saints. I pray for, for, for ministries to be able to equip you, the believer. You that, that don't know the Lord is the fact is that we really is about trying to equip, to really is about equipping the saints to do the work of the ministry. So that the ministry, and I'm talking about, I'm talking about the body of Christ, let their light shine. Let each saint life so shine that it makes a difference in somebody else's life. That's what we want to be able to do. And, and, and those who tune in for this is the fact that let's equip one another to do the work of the ministry. What do I mean equip one another to do the work of the ministry? Let us show people what Christ is about. What God Almighty is about you know what i mean being able to 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 show the the love and the mercy of god and with, with one another because what we see is the fact is that many people see the world and the cynical nature of the world that they have a tendency to go along with the world one of my friends call it a default set you know uh, and I'm, I'm saying it's, it's time to go beyond that. It's time to, to recognize the importance of, of trusting in the Lord. Lean not to own understanding, right? You know what I mean? So I, I really want us to really get down to that fact of, of, of us letting our light shine. Let people see who we are in Christ Jesus. That's, 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 the, that's the intent. That's the intent. Let people see who we are. Because the world is so cynical. And it can be so cynical. You know, it can be so destructive if we if we let it be that way. So I really want to get down to that point where we can sit there and, and let our light shine. Christ's light will shine whether we shine or not. Whether you shine or not, I'm telling you. Christ's light will shine. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this opportunity to come to worship and praise your holy name. Father, you said when two or three gather your name, you'll be in the midst of them. We now invite and receive the presence of the Holy Spirit. Lead us and guide us in all truth. Heavenly Father, let us move ourselves out of the way. At least I'm moving myself out of the way. Let the Holy Spirit have his way. Let it continue to, to let our light shine. Father, pray for more labors. Uh, and, and 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 there's a lot of laborers out there that I pray that the ministries out there, all the ministries, please listen. Equip the body of Christ to do the work of the ministry. Give them every tool that they need. Don't worry about who's in charge. Just give them the tools they need so they can do the work outside of those four walls. Yes, you can you can you can tell them to bring the people in so they can be equipped. But the key to it is when we come to church services is to equip the saints to do the work of the ministry. Father, I now ask you, Lord, just to lead us and guide us in all truth. Let the word for the day, the encouragement for the day be manifested in this 
minute in this ministry. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, amen. I, I really do uh, want all of those who, who really listen and, and are believers, you equip yourselves to live a life that others will be able to look at and say, I want the life of Christ. I want, I want, I want him to be in my life. I want the Holy Spirit to be manifested in my life so I can be a blessing to other people. Because it's the world, I know what the world wants me to be. I know what the world wants you to be. The, the, we know how the world wants to play to get over. I mean, let, matter of fact, we also live from prayer of Ukraine. Father, I ask Lord to just send the Russia cold. Just go home and stop bombing these people and let these people rebuild their community and society. Father, I, you know, that, that's why I think we should be able to recognize that the depravity of man. Some people sit there thought it was like, oh, well, we, we, we have arrived, right? And, and yet you see the, it, the, the, the senseless killing of another nation by what we call a superpower nation. We thought that we have arrived, haven't we? We thought that we have got our act together and there's nobody sitting there hurting nobody uh, or, or, or just those other countries called third world countries, right? Third world countries are sitting there fighting each other. Uh, but we see, and look, and even talking about the fact that we, we some people sit there and say, well, at least some of the, uh, I heard one time about third world countries opposed to European countries, uh, and saying that these people got to act together, right? You know, these people don't, they don't do the things we see in the third world country. And yet we see right now, <laughs> right now, uh, a, 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 a European country, you know, you want to call whoever you call Russia to be, is 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 acting the way it's acting, attacking another country, a neighbor. Hey, look at this, a neighbor bringing in tanks, bringing in artillery, bringing in missiles, bringing in jets, blowing these people up, attacking uh, buildings. If somebody had the audacity to say, well, the other country is, 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 is just as corrupt. The other country ain't bombing nobody. The other country ain't attacking nobody. You can't sit there and say just as corrupt because they got the, they're, not, they're not on equal levels. <laughs> you, you, somebody's supposed to be the big boy in the room, right? The grown up in the room, right? Because, you know, obviously the grown up wouldn't do what we're talking about. But reality, the grown-up do is doing the killing, the sense of killing. The grown-up is the one that's hurting somebody. You know what I mean? So I, I, I just want us to really get to this point where we, we recognize the importance of uh, equipping the saints to do the work of the ministry. Huh? The saints doing the work of the ministry. Listen to what I'm saying. We need to equip you, the believer, to do what? The work of the ministry. Because so many people, they get hurt. So many people don't know how to forgive. And that, that's one of the things I want to talk about, is the ability to forgive one another. You know? To be able to to, to, to recognize that I, I got to let my light shine because of me. I need to have that peace in me. And if I sit there and, and, and have bitterness and anger and unforgiveness in, in me, then I don't have the peace that I need. I, have, I don't have the joy that I need. I have what the world wants me to have. You know what I mean? That, that's, what, that's what happens when we sit there and, and not allowing our life in the, in, in to, to, to let the Holy Spirit, it, it has to be that. I mean, it has to be something where, where do, where do I have my joy? You know, what, is it easy to have anger? Well, anyway, I, I really wanted to be sure to and, and talk about the, the importance of 
what I was picking up on, on Sunday. And I want to pick it up there today is what profits a man or woman? And let's go ahead and bring, bring the uh, slide up and show it to you. You know, what profits a man? that he shall gain the whole world and lose his soul. What, what profit is that? What benefit is that for any of us to, to gain the world but lose our soul? You know, and, I, and I, one, one, one of us, I had one person uh, who told me, they said, well, there, there's no soul. I, 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 don't, I don't know. Everything, everything of man is man. You know what I mean? However you want to call man, if you want to call him just a, a, a single, hey, bro, 